Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your love short for this week. So it's going to be a short love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, when I was shuffling off camera for you, I heard... I still love you. I don't know. Somebody still loves you. Somebody still wants you. I don't know. Cancer, let me know how, how that works out. It looks as if the Ace of Cups and the Hangman popped out. You and this person take periodic breaks from each other. Okay. And then you come back together. It's just no progression in the connection. I don't know. It just doesn't progress from Ace of Cups. We're back in love. And then we're back off. And then we're back in love. And then we're back off again. So, um, I don't know. You still love them. They still love you. Let's see what's going on for the Cancer Collective. All right. Let's see it one more time. Let's see. What's going on for the Cancer Collective? All right, Cancer, the Sun card. Maybe you feel like this person is the sun in your life. Could be a Leo. Um, maybe this is how they feel about you. You brighten up their life, their day. You're the positivity. You're the radiance in their life here. Um, somebody's coming to some illumination that maybe they still love you. You still love them. I still love you. Uh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah. But there has been an utter devastation collapse. Maybe somebody felt backhanded or backstabbed or they felt like something just took them off course or um, took them by surprise here. Um I don't know it could it also is that the relationship is just up and down it's very volatile it's like the stock market it's up and down it's volatile um you just don't know what is what it's going to be if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad i think it's because both of you um are very different first of all so you approach life relationship differently also i don't know either it's both of you you're not there's no cohesiveness there's no agreement there's also victimization somebody's feeling like the victim here neither one of you are the victim you both do shit to each other um you both push each other's buttons whether you know it or you don't whether it's purposely or it's not purposely nobody's the victim here it, it seems as if maybe the Somebody feels like the, the the fullness of this connection is the Ten of Swords. I'm always going to get blindsided by this person. I'm always going to get shitted on by this person. I'm always going to be hurt by this person. That's what somebody feels like. You can feel that way. You know, Four of Cups or, um, or uh, the other person feels that way. But the, the cards are saying the Four of Cups, you're missing something. You're missing the opportunity. You're missing the blessing that's before you because you're too concerned about what happened what was what is in the three of cups you're not concerned with the stability that you can have with this person or in this thing because you're too concerned about other things here you're not looking at what can be you're too self-centered you're too looking at it from a very um self-evolved uh, lens here you're not looking at it in terms of uh, maybe a, a different perspective uh you're not asking yourself um what you what part you played in it um, there is regret and there is remorse here. Um, maybe somebody's regretting and remorse. They're in regret and remorse because um, they're saying, I shouldn't have done this and then I wouldn't have done that and then I wouldn't have gotten this. I don't know. That could be the regret here. But it's still very self-centered because it's I, if I, if I, if I. It's, you know, it's all about you. Um, it could be you, Cancer. You know, you coming up is feeling like you're the one that was backstabbed, blindsided, um, slapped in the face, pushed down the stairs. I don't know. But the cards want you to look at it from a different perspective here. You're missing something. Uh, the Queen of Wands. Um, it says don't put all your eggs in one basket. It says, it's, it, you know, that maybe put yourself back out there or get back out there or take the initiative because the queen of wands takes the initiative she gets a lot done in a short amount of time also she goes after what it is she wants she is the quintessential 
social butterfly, social climber here. I don't know. Maybe that's you. That's the other person. The print, the page, or the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, it says that you're gonna have some creative opportunity to maybe go forward, go forward, full steam ahead to conquer something, to go um, after something or someone here. The Knights are a uh, fixed energy, so this could be uh, Leo coming towards you or you going towards someone here. This is what 20 degrees Cancer, 20 degrees Leo, so it could be you Cancer, it could be a Leo. It's like an opportunity for you to move forward in something. Um, I don't know if you're gonna stay there forever because the Knight of Wands don't stay nowhere forever, but it is opportunity for you to conquer something, to see it through and maybe move on or move into a different energy. Maybe move into the energy of the Three of Pentacles, rebuilding, restructuring, doing something big, monumental together. It says doing something together, actual, something tangible together. The Three of Pentacles, it says that there's the blessing of the divine, the masculine, and the feminine. Maybe if you guys can get to a place of seeing eye to eye, the both of you can rest in your masculine, the other person can rest in their feminine, and then y'all can have that divine spark, you know, that divinity holding you two together, but not until you get into your respective energy, divine masculine, divine feminine. You both may be showing up as masculine or both showing up feminine, feminine. I don't know. There's no, there's no yin and yang. There's no balance here. Yeah, the nine of pentacles here also with three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here. It says that like, it's like somebody wants to work in tandem with the other person, but they also want to maintain their independence, their autonomy their uh, lack of intimacy uh, they want to rely on themselves they also want to be in relationship but be single somebody can't let go of single life but a decision will be made here justice will prevail you don't make the decision justice does the universe karma karmic justice will be had here what is due unto you will be rendered to you what's due unto the other person will be rendered to the other person Somebody feels indebted to you or karmically indebted to you. Maybe they feel like they need to repay you um, or there will be repayment, okay? Whether it's repayment by way of what the what the, the divine, what the universe brings into play or this person will be moved by the divine to act on maybe apology or repayment. Maybe you were great to this person or good to this person and they were absolutely horrible to you or they showed you um, a side of themselves that you just did not deserve. A, an apology could be coming to you or is due unto you. The four of wands, it looks like once that happens, you get to a place of completion. Um, successful project completed. Now, it's whether it's together or apart, I don't know, but the four of wands happens for you. You guys can say, okay, we're at a stable place and maybe leave it there the lady, the empress, I don't know, somebody might want to come back together, the two of pentacles, but it seems as if a decision is up in the air because there's still something in this relationship that needs to be examined. It's like somebody apologizes and then the other person is like, damn, well, we're, then, we're back together. And the other person is like, well, no, not entirely because there's still something I don't want to engage in. I still feel like it's karmic you know, this relationship is karmic or there's still, you know, some toxicity here. Therefore, let's just keep things up in the air for right now. The five of swords and it feels like maybe this first this person feels defeated. I don't know. This person feels um, left out, um, cast out. Uh, now they're in that ego, in that ego trip, in that selfishness phase, in that win or lose, win, lose, draw. When there's really no winners here, page of swords coming up. Yeah, page of, again, this is just unstable. It's, it's highly unstable. Reversal comes in for you guys again. The energy gets reversed. We just came from the four of wands and now we're the five of swords. So it just seems like it just goes backwards again. And now it just goes to an unstable energy 
to where you guys are trying to recreate the connection again with these small little petty gestures of love, of devotion, of spying on one another, of having little small talk that goes nowhere. The Ten of Pentacles, would you really want the Ten of Pentacles with one another? The Hermit card, it seems as if somebody needs to go on some self-discovery journey page of wands. Somebody is very immature. Maybe they just refuse to grow up. There's an energy of somebody needing to grow up. The Five of Cups also not knowing how to come back to a person, probably because of lack of maturity. There's insecurity and immaturity here. Cancer, this could be you. Pay, you got all the damn pages now. When it says four or more pages, it says the relationship is highly unstable, volatile at best. It's always going to be some new start here, some petty newness, some reversal. The King of Cups, I don't know, you could have something to do with it or the other person could. The Death card, the relationship ends or it transforms again. Yeah, it ends. The Queen of Swords, somebody puts an end to the relationship once again. The Tower, once again, somebody just brings it all down again. This is... You know, I'm reading this energy, the King of Wands, this is Cancer male, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, the Strength card, somebody wants truth and compassion and forgiveness, Nine of Cups, wishing and hoping for the person to come back, Seven of Pentacles, waiting for the person to come back, the Fool card, waiting for this person to return, but this person is going the other way, they're walking away from the, the reading and the connection here, then the new journey here. This is... um. Let just let it go, Jesus Christ. Just let it go. I mean, it's so up and down. I mean, if you can deal with this, this instability, this up and down, this out, it's it's like a swinging door. It just keeps swinging, and it's like somebody saying, "Please stop that damn door from swinging," and nobody will stop the door from swinging. Just let it swing. And that's the nature of your relationship with someone, whomever you came to this reading for. It's just a fucking swinging door. It's ridiculous. I'm so upset with this energy because it seems as if I'm getting the same energy from all 12 zodiac signs. We're in the eighth month of the year. It's causing all of us to evaluate where we are and what we have been doing for the last seven months. What have you been doing? Is it getting you anywhere? And if it's not, you need to shift your energy and your focus. Stop letting the damn door swing. Close it. Stop it. I, I don't know who I'm talking to, Cancer. I don't know. I'm just frustrated altogether. I would love to have, like, beautiful love readings where people getting married and running off into the sunset and maybe a little friction here or there. But all I get is eights and pages all fucking day and it's like people are so happy to see those but it's in regards to an old energy that means there's no progression there's no stability here you guys just keep recreating the same fucking thing it's absolutely asinine at best i just want i'm gonna have to take a break from this i'm gonna have to take a break from this because i can't keep reading this stuff this is it's beyond me the advice for the cancer is to um make a choice here with the lover's card what have you um what is healthy for you the six talks about health fitness and your analytical nature you need to analyze where you are in relationships what's healthy what's fitting for you if it's not healthy in a fitting relationship you probably need to do away with it because it's not healthy, nor does it fit for you. And if you are this way for someone else, then they probably need to get let go of you, okay? If it just doesn't fit, you must have quit. You must throw this shit out. This is just crazy. Um, cancer, have a really good one. Take care, bye.